my job today is to thank you on behalf of not only my own family, but all the other families you heard from Mr. Hyken say there were 6,000. Mr. Sugihara gave 2,139 pieces. By the way, my name is on the last page, the last minute, 10 minutes before you close down. I have a copy of that. So you can imagine the miracle that happened to me alone. So on behalf of 2,139 visas, which represent today over 100,000 people, perhaps 200,000, they can't all be here, but I represent them to say thank you. Don't mind me, Thank you. I just greatly accepted this beautiful flag honoring the righteous man, Mr. Chiwen Sukhara, and his life saving actions during World War II. I was very moved by Mr. Fisher's experiences and his feelings of gratitude. I thank him for sharing these powerful memories with us today. The Jewish and Japanese people share a history of helping one another. This is exemplified by actions of Mr. Sugihara and Mr. J. Shif. In 1904, Mr. Shif, who worked at Cohen Lowell and Company, helped Japan finance its war efforts during the Russia-Japanese war. He did this by buying the equivalent of nearly 200 million US dollars worth of bonds in today's markets, which the Japanese government at that time could not find any purchasers. Mr. Schiff had wished to take this action against the horrific pogrom of Tsarist Russia in Kishinev in 1903. The admiration with which many Japanese people viewed Mr. Shi, who indeed had helped save Japan from becoming a Russian colony, was transferred to the view of Jap Jewish people in general. In 1938, at the Five Ministers' Council of the Japanese Imperial Government, issued a basic policy towards Jews, which stated clearly that they would, be, they would be treated no differently from other foreigners. This was issued in the face of extreme pressure from Germany, which Japan was allied with at that time. And uh, as eloquently explained by uh, Honorable Assemblyman uh, Haiken, um, Mr. Chiyone Sugihara, signed thousands and thousands of transit visas day and night so that 60,000, you know, 6,000 6, Jewish people could flee the country. But in addition to Mr. Sugihara, there were many Japanese individuals who helped secure their journey to safety in a sort of uh, conspiracy of goodness. For the Jewish refugees who had reached Vladivostok via the Trans-Siberian Railway from Europe, Japanese officials there reinterpreted the standing official regulations to permit them to board a ship to Japan for safety. Then the place, the city Kobe, where the Jewish people stayed for a while, the conspiracy to help continued. In fact, uh, a transit visa they got from uh, Consul uh, Sugihara was, just, was valid just in, for 10 days. So uh, in somewhat illegal fashion, officials in Kobe kept extending, extending transit visits which were in danger of expiring. A protected Jewish community in Kobe grew and ensure the survival of Mir Shiva, I believe, uh, which thrives in Brooklyn today. This conspiracy of kindness happened in the face of the Holocaust. The Holocaust showed us, indeed, 
the depth and the heights of humanity. The depths never to be repeated, and the heights, the courage of acting on your beliefs, something to be emulated always. So the acts of Mr. Jacob Schiff and Mr. Sugihara continue to contribute the friendship between the Jewish and Japanese people, as well as our two nations. With all that we share in values and history, let us continue to be inspired by those two great men to take action for the protection, prosperity, peace, dignity of all others together. Thank you.